Let's review what the industry has offered us in the last 20 years. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best video games of the century so far. For this list, we'll be looking at the most critically acclaimed, commercially successful, and influential video games released in the 21st century. Because this is a tight squeeze, only one entry per franchise will be allowed. We're also putting a stronger emphasis on their legacy within the gaming industry, so there may be a few changes from our best of the decade list. Show me. Now? Now. Number 20. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves When people say blockbuster video game, one undoubtedly thinks of Uncharted 2. This game perfectly encapsulates everything that makes blockbuster video games so much fun. A globe-trotting Indiana Jones-esque adventure, memorable characters, and enough excitement to have you shaking from the adrenaline rush. There was simply nothing like it at the time, and it has arguably never been topped, even by its own sequels. It perfected the concept of the action movie video game hybrid, and thanks to near perfect execution on the part of Naughty Dog, it remains a joy to play even a decade later. Perfect. Not bad for last year's model. Number 19 Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. This game served as Hideo Kojima's final Konami product, and what a curtain call it was. The ninth installment in the Metal Gear series, The Phantom Pain contained all the signature Kojima wackiness we've come to expect over the years, complete with a seriously convoluted story. So you're the so-called White Mamba. but it's the powerful themes and brilliant gameplay design that make The Phantom Pain such a masterpiece, if an incomplete one. In fact, we almost gave this slot to Snake Eater for that. Still, not only did it expand on the futility of war, but it encouraged the player to experiment and tackle objectives to the fullest extent of their boundless creativity. The game could be whatever you want it to be, and it represented everything that made Metal Gear such an iconic series. I'll see you in hell, boss. Number 18, Dark Souls. Dark Souls is a significant outlier in the video game industry. It is incredibly difficult, willfully obtuse, and fiercely weird and uninviting. And yet, despite all that, it managed to find a devoted player base and launch one of the most celebrated franchises of the century. The game was endlessly praised for its rich imagination, philosophy, and game design, and its foundation continues to be utilized by various copycats, sequels, and spiritual successors to this day. Looking at you, Sekido. Dark Souls has since been improved upon both mechanically and visually, but a palace can't be built without a foundation. Number 17. World of Warcraft I need a target. When it comes to gaming behemoths, few can compare to World of Warcraft. It has become an iconic piece of entertainment since its release back in 2004, a brilliant example of implementing gaming and social interaction. The addictive mechanics and unique social integration quickly allowed World of Warcraft to balloon in popularity, and by 2017, it had become one of the most profitable franchises in gaming history. How may I help? Goddess, watch over you. What brings you here? It's the quintessential MMORPG, and it successfully managed to shatter the barrier between niche pastime and mainstream acceptance. Despite its age, World of Warcraft still feels relevant thanks to the expansions and drops every two years or so. Number 16, Batman Arkham City. Arkham City remains, and may remain for some time yet, the quintessential superhero video game. All of its stellar elements combined into a magnificent whole that is yet to be bested in the genre. 
The narrative was mature, introspective, and exciting. The world design was vast, dark, and richly atmospheric. But it was the gameplay mechanics that earned the most praise thanks to the imaginative integration of Batman's devices and fluid combat system. Its systems are still being copied to this day, and you may have heard people linking the Arkham series to Insomniac Spider-Man. Its legacy in the fighting and superhero genres is unrivaled. But you of all people should know, there's plenty wrong with me. Number 15. Portal. Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from... What? 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 Portal was the surprise standout from the orange box, and it's also a masterclass in game design. The popular mechanic was of course refreshing and original, and it effortlessly combined intellectual stimulation with ridiculous fun. But what's most surprising and acclaimworthy is how the game fluidly integrated humor and story into its core puzzle mechanics. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. The game was often lauded for its dark sense of humor and its cast, including the weighted companion cube and GLaDOS, both of which have become iconic within the gaming industry. With Portal, Valve proved its incredible talents and creativity by combining tone, story, and gameplay into a wonderfully original and highly enjoyable whole. We... Number 14, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Call of Duty is a gaming giant today, but there's simply no conveying just what a groundbreaking release the original Modern Warfare was back in 2007. That year belonged entirely to Halo 3, and it seemed like nothing could dethrone its console multiplayer crown. Enter Modern Warfare, which impressed millions with its fast-paced gameplay and unique mechanics. It not only updated the Call of Duty brand for a new generation, but it quickly became one of the definitive multiplayer experiences of the decade. It was so ahead of its time that its basic ideas are still being copied over 10 years later. The Call of Duty franchise has often been criticized for its lack of innovation, but it's hard to improve upon something so fully formed. Number 13, God of War. Now this is how you revamp a franchise. God of War took nearly everything that was beloved about the series and threw it out the window. Hyper-realized stories, a crazy protagonist, Greek mythology, all gone in favor of a more subdued and introspective character study about fathers, sons, and legacies, all playing out across a gorgeous Norse backdrop. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes, the woods with the blood red leaves. Of course, it did keep the bombastic boss fights and incredible combat mechanics, because it wouldn't be God of War without battling unstoppable gods and massive monsters. Santa Monica Studio has to be commended here. They took a major risk with this title, but it paid off beautifully. Ah! That's what you get! Boy. Ah! Number 12, Bioshock. By 2007, video games were finally being taken seriously. But it was arguably Bioshock that finally titled the medium's reputation from enjoyable pastime to legitimate art. The distinction is thanks in large part to Bioshock's story and themes, which ignored typical action game tropes to focus on the writings of Ayn Rand, objectivism, capitalism, player agency, and free will. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? It didn't hurt that it all took place in the visually appealing and inventive setting of Rapture. Add in some iconic characters, flawless blending of FPS and RPG mechanics, and one of the best plot twists in gaming history, and you've got yourself the all-time classic that is Bioshock. Number 11, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah. 
it's the game that has defined the couch multiplayer scene since the turn of the millennium, and to this day, it is still being played both casually and competitively. Super Smash Bros. has now become the greatest crossover franchise of all time, and it has Melee to thank for putting it in that position. <laughs> Fights are easy to pick up to play, yet incredibly tough to master. The diverse roster can suit to multiple playstyles, and it has a devoted fan base that still insists that it's better than its successors. These days, many others will argue that Ultimate is the better Smash title, but for the massive legacy this game left, Melee's importance cannot be understated. <laughs> Number 10, Minecraft. We don't think anyone could have predicted Minecraft's success. This little game was independently created by Marcus Pearson and didn't seem to offer much in the way of total world dominance. However, it was instantly lauded upon release, with many critics and players singling out its brilliant crafting mechanic, creative freedom, and countless unique experiences that naturally arise from playing the game. All of this, combined with the game's signature visual design, helped it become popular with YouTube gamers, who in turn helped spread the fun to their viewers. Before long, Minecraft was the best-selling game ever, a perfect example of YouTube's rising influence on gaming, and a bona fide cultural phenomenon. In short, Minecraft helped define a generation. Number 9. The Last of Us We almost called Uncharted 2 Naughty Dog's masterpiece, but then we remembered The Last of Us. This game was a monumental achievement in storytelling and voice acting, and it is still regarded as one of the best told stories in gaming history. While most of the acclaim typically goes to the game's writing and acting, this is doing a large disservice to its amazing gameplay, which perfectly balanced elements of survival horror, RPGs, stealth action, and Naughty Dog's signature adventure flair. Should be a straight shot through here. Alright. It's actually kinda of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. The game also comes equipped with stellar production values and visual design, both of which help to immerse the player in a realistic, post-apocalyptic hellscape. No game is perfect, but The Last of Us comes pretty close. Number 8, Grand Theft Auto V. Nowhere to go. Honestly, if it wasn't for the one per franchise rule, GTA would have taken five slots on this list. Yet, it's the story surrounding GTA V that has made it such a titan. It instantly broke sales records, becoming the fastest selling entertainment product in history after grossing one billion in just three days. But while the single player was a landmark, it's the online component that is the true star here. This expansive and seemingly boundless piece of virtual insanity has helped the game ship over 115 million copies, making it both one of the most profitable entertainment products ever and the third highest selling video game of all time, behind only Tetris and Minecraft. Number 7, Mass Effect 2. Ugh, oh, what we would do to relive the glory days of Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2 promised, and arguably delivered, the future of gaming. It was an intensely personal experience as players were able to create a character, manipulate relationships, and mold the plot through unique choices and interactive storytelling. Of course, this wouldn't mean much without an intriguing story, but luckily, Mass Effect 2 offered an original and deeply engrossing tale, complete with rich characters and wonderfully imaginative world building. It also improved on its predecessor in numerous ways, offering cinematic production values and a livelier atmosphere. It's undoubtedly one of the greatest story-based video games ever released. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Number 6, Resident Evil 4. Uh, 
This entry took a major risk by deviating from the established formula, but it paid off in unimaginable ways. Of course, the biggest change came in the form of the third-person perspective. But it also took the series in a more action-oriented route, while still providing players with the core puzzle and horror elements they'd come to expect from the series. The result was a magnificent mixture of old and new, and the game became a bona fide trendsetter for future third-person shooters. It forever changed camera perspectives, precision aiming mechanics, and inventory management. It also influenced future game developers, helping to pave the way for classics like Dead Space, The Last of Us, God of War, and Uncharted. So, thank you, Resident Evil 4. Number 5. Halo Combat Evolved Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. Squeezing just inside the 21st century is Halo, one of the most influential first-person shooters of all time. What this game did for first-person shooters is not unlike what Citizen Kane did for movies. Complete with amazing weapons and combat mechanics, a massively popular multiplayer component, and a richly inventive story, Halo helped redefine the limits of the FPS genre. It also spawned countless imitators, all of which were deemed Halo clones, and all of which failed to meet, never mind surpass, the heights of its influence. Throw in the sequels, spin-offs, remakes, machinima, and novels, and what takes shape is an FPS that not only shook the genre to its core, but also spawned an entire gaming empire. Punch it. Ah, sir! Number 4. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim few open-world titles can compare to Skyrim. While Bethesda had been developing the Elder Scrolls series for years, it was Skyrim that finally broke through to the mainstream thanks to its streamlined gameplay mechanics and gorgeous open world. The game became exceedingly popular through YouTube compilations, and old-school Elder Scrolls fans were able to delve deeper into the universe's lore. But casual and hardcore fans could find enjoyment in exploring the breathtaking settings that the game offered, and yes, the hilarious glitches added an undeniable charm. Video games don't get much more imaginative than this. Number 3. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. Since its release, Breath of the Wild has become the most commercially successful Zelda game to date, and it's not hard to see why. Set in an expansive open world that allows limitless freedom and creative problem solving, it really does have something for everyone. If you can imagine it, chances are there is a way to do it. It also deftly blends numerous genres like adventure, action, puzzle, and RPG, and offers a personal story unlike anything seen before in the Zelda canon. <laughs> Last but not least, it accomplishes all of this within a welcoming and surprisingly calming atmosphere, a visual design that helped differentiate it from its predecessors. In short, it's magic in video game form. Number 2. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vichima. Sure about that? Don't even try. You may argue that Breath of the Wild reinvented the open world, but we'd argue that Wild Hunt is the better game. For one thing, Wild Hunt also boasts an enormous and unique open world filled with magnificent settings, countless quality side quests, and enough lore to fill a Stephen King-sized novel. But it gets the leg up thanks to its narrative, an expansive fantasy epic filled with interesting characters and morally ambiguous situations to navigate. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. It established CD Projekt Red as one of the decade's most popular and acclaimed developers, and it introduced the Witcher franchise to its now massive player base. It's an undeniable masterpiece of the fantasy genre. 
I'd be your best and last. Hmm, not what I came for. Before we look at the greatest video game of the 21st century, here are a few honorable mentions. Cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Half-Life 2 There is a very good reason why the last decade has been filled with demands for Half-Life 3. The first two Half-Life games are still regarded as the greatest and most groundbreaking games ever made, but not for any one reason in particular. For Half-Life 2, so many things went right, including the unique integration of cutscenes and gameplay, the haunting atmosphere, the realistic character and facial animations, and of course, the revolutionary physics engine and iconic gravity gun. It admittedly doesn't sound like much on paper, but the sum is far greater than its individual parts. Every FPS that came after has followed in Half-Life 2's footsteps. It was a trailblazer not just for the genre, but for gaming as an artistic medium. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.